Southeast Missouri State head coach Tom and Tukowitz, uh, Red Hawks will uh, face a regional rival Southern Illinois, their seventh uh, in the country. That is uh, Thursday night uh, to kick off uh, the season, 630 Central Time, ESPN+. Plus. So, Coach, uh, you got through fall camp. It's game week. Just tell us a little about your team, and then we'll go to some questions. Yeah, I just uh, can't wait to see uh, where we're at. You know, um, of course, you work hard recruiting and development and all that stuff. And all through fall camp, you're working hard. And at the end of the day, you, you really don't know what you, you know, what you got necessarily until you get out there and just play. And so uh, looking forward to this, looking forward to this matchup. Players are too, and just can't wait to get it going. Thanks, Coach. Uh, if you got a question for Coach Tuke, if you let me know down in the chat, uh, and I can call on you in that order. So we'll start first with Todd. Go ahead, Todd. Hey, Coach Tuke, good to see you. Uh, how has your offensive line come together? And you don't get to play any preseason games in college, but you, you got a couple new guys on your O line. Yeah, I mean, I've, O line's been been something we've really tried to improve over the last couple of years, and and. It feels like this may be one of our better ones, um, but they got to prove it. And so we did have some coaches change, and it was late. Uh, so we lost our O-line coach late to, to Northern Illinois, which, you know, we're happy for him. Uh, but uh, so there's been a little bit of, of change there, but they've seemed to embrace that. And um, have had a really good fall camp. You know, we got four starters back. The fifth guy played a lot of, uh, started a couple games. And so we've got some good experience there. And I think some good players, um, it'll be interesting just to see how that unfolds. It's certainly challenged with SIU, but that'll be good. You know, if we can hold up there, then we should be able to hold up in the OBC and, and, and the playoffs. How big is Bryson Donald to your, to your run defense and to your defense overall? He's huge. I think he's one of the better uh, players in the OBC. A uh, very dominant um, run stopper, but he's pretty twitchy too. Uh, and, and so, you know, just like anything, um, a good D line makes everything better. And so, a good D line starts with good players. Now, can uh, can Southern bring as many players as they want, or is there a limit to how many players they can bring to the game Thursday night? No, it's open. It's open. And then, just your uh, your quarterback, CJ. How does he fit into your system? Yeah, on paper fits exactly, or we wouldn't have recruited him. Uh, so uh, the things that we want to try and do offensively, you know, matches his skill set. Uh, the tough part about it, just like uh, all starting quarterbacks, is just a new system, and he didn't get spring. Like, he didn't get here until July. So he's just not sure what it'll look like as far as uh, how quickly he could play fast. You know, if he's out there processing and thinking, uh, there may be some growing planes, but I can't wait to watch him play. Uh, you know, he's a, a, a pretty talented guy and seems calm, cool, and collected, and our, and our players have really embraced it. And how close is your team to being fully vaccinated? Have you already passed the test for Thursday's game? Uh, yes, so we're good to go, I, and I believe we're at 80%-ish. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that, but it's been a uh, priority of, of trying to get that uh, up there. When we started in the summer, we are like at 12%. But you feel like you've done everything you can to try to give yourself the best chance to play 11 games? Yeah, I mean, certainly uh, I can't uh, control young people and, and, and wouldn't even if I could. Like, this is all a choice. And, uh, you know, we just tried to really educate them and, and try to give us our best chance. But uh, like we lost our kicker because he has mono and he's got a, a, a swollen spleen. Like, I mean, you know, that's just college football, right? And so, you know, someone could get up and all of a sudden have symptoms and be out for the game. But we have enough that uh, I, I couldn't imagine us having to cancel a game. You know, even if we got to go both ways back in high school, you know, we're going to try and find a way to play every game. So is Kenny Dope going to be your kicker or it's going to be Pippen? We don't know who it's going to be. Uh, can, you, can you kick? Yes, I can, but I can't kick for you, unfortunately. Sorry. Well, <laughs> it would be entertaining. You could probably make ESPN. Still have some eligibility, but uh, I'm afraid I can't help you Thursday. But uh, good luck. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. You got a question for Coach Chuk? Let me know down in the chat. Anthony, you're up next. Go ahead with your questions. Hey, Coach Chuk, how are you? 
I'm well, thank you. Um, I was looking at SIU's game game notes, and they listed Nick Baker as the starting quarterback. Um, obviously, there was a change there. How has that changed your prep for the week, knowing that you know they used to have Stone as their starting quarterback? What does Nick change about how you see their offense running? I don't really see uh, much different. You know, I think uh, Nick Hill – offense is Nick Hill's offense. What makes that a challenge is, you know, he could beat you running it or throwing it. Lots of formations, lots of, of things. And so, uh, you know, he's going to play within the system. He can really throw the football. Um, but at the end of the day, the things that we believe in winning and losing football game, you know, comes down to still, you know, stopping the run, trying to get people in third and long and if we could do that, then, uh, you know, it's a tough day for Nick or any quarterback in third round. Uh, and my second question is, obviously the schedule was made a long time ago, but, you know, you're opening up against the seventh-ranked team in the country, and then you go on the road, play Sam Houston State, and then you go to Mizzou. How, how are you preparing the team for a tough, probably one of the toughest out-of-conference schedules in the country? You know, by making practice tough. Uh, I practiced in the heat. Uh, we, we practiced at 3 o'clock, and it was hot as hell. Um, but you know what? Sam Houston's going to be hot, too, and so is Mizzou. And so those are things. But also a really physical uh, fall camp just because of the, the teams we got to uh, start with. And um, So it's all about your perspective. You know, it's all about how you see us playing three of those top teams. You know, my perspective is – we should have a really good idea of what we have, what our issues are, and we should be able to work towards fixing those by OBC play. Um, sometimes you don't get tested and all of a sudden you get in conference and it's a problem. The concern you have obviously is you just don't want to get banged up, um, but you know you can't control that. So just, just focus on um, playing good opponents. It's a great um, student athlete experience like getting to go play Sam Houston, the defending national champion. We're going to go walk through Texas A&M Stadium. Like, all those type of things are, are great for our student athletes. So, why not? I mean, what's the worst thing that happen when we lose a game? I mean, I've lost a bunch. So, uh, you know, it's about that experience and looking forward to, you know, a big game. And if we don't play well, we'll get embarrassed. Thanks, Coach. Anybody else, other questions uh, for Coach Tuke? Tom, if you got a question, uh, you can go ahead. I see you up there. Um, hey, Coach. Uh, hey. With, with Lawrence Johnson missing on uh, Thursday's game, Donye is listed on the two deep as his backup. Is Donye expected to start? Uh, that changed. And so uh, Lawrence will miss the Sam Houston game. Oh, he'll miss Sam Houston. Okay, so he'll play Thursday then. Okay. But Don, will Donye, he'll find some role. What's he done well in camp? Well, he's a good tackler uh, and he's physical. He played linebacker in high school. And so those are the type of things that he does well. You know, we're still teaching him the DB stuff. Um, but he'll start on special teams and do, do quite a bit of that also. And so, uh, you know, it's going to be fun to see him, see what kind of progress he's made. And he's going to get the, you know, get to play and it'll be fun. Okay. Christian Perez, will he take some snaps on Thursday? We'll see. Uh, you know, we, we plan on it. Um, but um, just like I tell all the players, I ain't telling you anything because we don't know how it's going to happen, you know. Um, right. But he's certainly a guy that we're talking about. It wouldn't take an injury or something necessarily. Uh, he has earned some reps, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. Are he and CJ very, very similar in their skill sets? Yeah, I'd say very similar. Okay. Uh, Keandre's replacing Bryant Pirtle, and obviously Pirtle was a huge part of your attack last year defensively. What's Keandre do well? You know, he's big and long, and so uh, he's kind of that steady Eddie guy. All of a sudden, you look up, and he's he's got a bunch of tackles and he's really impacted the game. He, he doesn't necessarily make the wild plays that maybe Pirtle does, um, but he is a really consistent, good football player. 
Okay, so you like your defensive line up front, and uh, even though you've got some new faces there, you feel good about that. Yeah, I feel good about a whole team. Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, I think the concern is just the depth. Uh, as far as the guys we roll out there, you know, I feel like they're they're pretty good players. Okay. Uh, last one for me. Uh, speaking of depth, at tight end, obviously Austin's gone, uh, but Weideman took a lot of snaps for you. Caleb Strauss has played a lot of football for you in different roles. Um, talk about your two tight ends, and uh, will you will we see two tight end sets? And uh, how good do you feel about about your tight end rotation? I feel great about them. Uh, like you said, they uh, even though we lost one, those guys played a lot of football. Um, yeah. You know, they're uh, exactly what you want at tight end. The problem with a lot of tight ends is that they are one dimensional. Either you're a pass catcher or you're a run blocker, right? Mm -hmm. And we feel good about both those guys in the run game and in the passing game. And so, uh, you know, we, we think they're uh, good players and will certainly be in the game. Okay. Thanks a lot. You bet. Anybody else uh, questions for Coach Tuke? All right, Thanks for your time. Good yeah. luck.